oh yeah, it's mine again at Wayne Wright's. Uh, looking at um, calibration this time, um, we've got some injectors. Uh, it's a Bosch injector again. Um, we've got a fault. Well, we had faults um, where uh, the turbo had gone, a dramatic turbo failure. Um, it burnt. Um, well, it increased. Started burning loads of oil. Increased the uh, the combustion chambers temperature, and it damaged the injectors. Um, so we've repaired the injectors, fit new parts, uh, and now we're at the point of just retesting and calibration. Uh, uh, you can see that um, this injector, uh, we've, we've got um, a delivery rate of their delivery of um, 4.9 um, miles down to be honest. It should be around about 15, 15.2. Um, so obviously there's a fault on that injector. Now um, there's a couple of things it can be. Um, Work with fit new parts, it could be a fault on the part we fit. I mean, we've seen that before, um, or it might be a calibration problem. So, what we'll do, we'll look at the uh, the profile of the injector. Um, here we go. Um, the blue, I mean, if you go back to one of my uh, previous videos, we use a proof, proof uh, the profiling all the time. Um, we've got um, the injector pulse, that's current. Um, what happens is there's a little little star there which is a, a trigger and uh, what it does it freezes time so every time it makes a shot it freezes it like a photograph and here we have on the top here we have the profiling at 500 bar um, you can see the, the profile here is a good injector brand new and that's the profile of, the, of this current injector now looking at it um, in fact I'll just move that see if we can get it a bit better Um, <clears throat> that is one millisecond, that's one thousandth of a second, that will be about 2.5 milliseconds, um, we don't check them any, but anymore, uh, we used to check it all the time, um, you can see it's opening and closing much too early, so uh, we're saying that the it's looking like the uh, injection timing's out, um, so what we'll do, first thing we look at, is that little point there, now that's the reaction time, um, these in injectors, they've got to react absolutely spot on, uh, the main reason for, look at this, here, here we've got um, all the main, the pilot, the pre, the main, after and post injection phases. This is a Euro 3 injector. Um, we're replicating the main one. Um, the pilot and post normally is for um, noise reduction. Sometimes you hear when, the, when the, the car goes into uh, limp home, uh, there's a DCT in there, sometimes it knocks down the pilot and the, the engine starts sounding really harsh. Uh, so them two there, a normal engine re noise reduction. The after, uh, the after the event, which is after TDC, um, that normally just uh, keeps the, um, the combustion chamber at the right temperature for EGR. And the last one, the post, um, that normally goes, uh, it opens, gives a, a burst of fuel uh, and that's normally for the uh, diesel particulate filter to keep the, uh, the temperature up. Um, it's that one we, re we replicate here on here. Um, but the reason why that we always look to make sure that the, um, the re reaction time is correct is because uh, some point in between uh, the pre and the main, that's not point for of a millisecond um, and obviously a millisecond is one thousandth of a second so it's it's crucial that the injector has got to um, it's got to be um, able to uh, deliver the correct fuel uh, fuel quantity and it's also got to a uh, um, react quickly okay uh, what we normally do here um, we'll have a look at that now I can actually get that a bit bigger for us a bit. A bit difficult with these gloves on, but there we go. There we go. Much bigger. Now, how do how do we tell that um, it's not a faulty part that we fit? Well, what what we'll normally do is we'll run it again. Um, uh, you'll have to excuse the noise because it is quite noisy. I will try not to talk over the noise if I can. I'm not sure if you hear that or not. Uh, what I will do, I will increase the uh, the, in, uh, the the pulse time 
and we'll see if we can get somewhere near. We might be able to do it's quite a bit out with that injector, so we'll give it a go. Um, and that will tell us a, if if it's just a calibration fault. If we if we get the timing somewhere near on near on and there's still a fault on, on like the pressure drop, it's probably a part that we feel that's faulty. Um, so here we go, we'll give it a go. You'll be able to see as I increase the pulse time. And you see it increasing. And you can see it's opening the injector. And like I thought, that one is quite a bit out for that one. So uh, even though we're going the right direction, um, we're still not able to uh, get there. But by looking at, um, uh, at everything's working now, we're moving things. I'm pretty certain it's a calibration fault, this one, but it's not a fault of the parts we fit. Right, so what we'll do now, uh, we'll put... Um, I'll, put, I'll, I'll, I'll readjust that back to one millisecond, as we, we, that's what our normal test figures. And what I'll do, I will, I will, I will adjust the, um, the, the, um, the timing of the injector by adjusting the injector itself. Uh, and let's see if we can get that to, that profile bang on. Okay. Right, I'm not sure if you're out here or not, but I'm just uh, adjusting the uh, injector now. You'll hear the, 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 the equipment work harder as it's actually uh, injecting more quantity. back on now I mean, we could go a little bit further might have gone a bit too far there yeah so um, there we go uh, the pressure drops about the same so I mean the parts that we fit the, on, in the injectors correctly it's a um, it's reacting correctly uh, and so all we've got to do now really is, um, is, is just run the complete test again but before we do that we'll, we'll go through a bit of what we do when we actually um, build the injectors um, these. When we're actually, we're, we're actually building the injectors together, we use things like um, tools like this. Um, that's to do with vital measurements of the injector. When, when it's stripped down, we're building it back together. Um, that one screws on the top of the injector like that to check the, the measurement. Uh, and also, uh, when it's built, we check what's called the um, uh, the air gap. Um, the air gap is um, well, basically, it's testing the movement of the internal parts of the injector. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't know if you'd be able to zoom in on that, um, it's 0 0.000, so we're looking as close as one micron. What we do, just put it on, I'll just uh, zero it, there we go, zero, and I'll just actuate it, there you go, 52. If you just pull out again, you'll see I actually actuated by this equipment here, pull out so you can see the whole thing. Um, there we go, 52. Uh, we've got all the different specs for all the different in bus injectors, uh, and um, you know that's, that's about on. That's already been done on the uh, the injector that we've got here. Um, and so all we've got to do now, really, is um, is I shall uh, run the test again. Um, I'll probably run it, um, and then we'll, we'll swing back down onto the uh, the, calib the, the calibration unit. So if you just swing round, you can see we're about 3.5. On delivery, the uh, back leakage perfect. Actually, really good back leakage. You could inject it. Um, so we're at 4.4.9, 4.8. It should be about 15-ish. So 15.4 would be perfect. Uh, they do say 
10% either way, but I try to get a bit closer to that. Um, yeah, so we'll just drain it down. Now, I don't know if you want to turn your sound off while this is running. It'll take a while because we're doing over 500 shots. Um, and I'll leave it running like that so it'll just the the, uh, the video will end. I, uh, I hope you, you got something out of it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just start thing up. I'll just let it run its course. And we'll speak to you next time. pressures um, if it's all right we're ready to fit into the vehicle um, so we'll just have a look at the uh, the profile here we go uh, so that sort of like proves the way that um, pressure which is pressure drop and time which is the time the injector is open equals delivery 